going on youtubers welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having an awesome memorial day wish i was still at home but hey i got a long weekend this week got back uh got back early morning not too early probably about lunchtime on friday had saturday sunday y'all spent time with family so it was pretty cool um and all that good stuff it's gonna be a short week for me anyway so might as well try to make the as much money as i can uh so I'm up here at this uh, way station up here in Kentucky. I'm on my way to St. Louis for my first uh, first delivery of the week. As you can see behind me, very small load. It's like 5,400 pounds all together. So not too bad at all. I figure I'd go ahead and stop and uh, check it out, make sure everything's going good. Uh, but today I want to talk about a couple things. <laughs> kind of gonna be I don't know essentially I just need a vent about some stuff I'm trying to keep it as lighthearted as possible oh that is a beautiful k-dub behind me mm -mm -mm. sorry I got distracted <laughs> but anyways yeah I'm trying to keep this as lighthearted as possible I'm not try to make it like a full-on rant video but boy I got like I said I gotta get some stuff off my chest and hopefully educate those that's thinking about coming into the trucking industry so with that being said, I'm gonna hop in the truck, drive about two more hours. I'm gonna stop in the stop at a rest area about it's about 30 so 30 minutes or so. We're outside St. Louis. Uh, and we're gonna park there for the night, and uh, we'll carry on with the video. Mm. Very nice setup. Very very nice. It's pretty clean. Very clean, simple setup. I dig it. All right, y'all. So we're parked up for the night. Uh, I'm about 35 minutes away from where I got delivered to in St. Louis. So pretty sweet. And we'll get to sleep in a little bit. I don't deliver till about 7. So I'll get to get up about 6 o'clock. So, like I said, I get to sleep in a little bit, which is nice. But anyways, I'm going to get on with the video, uh, with the topic. Um, so, yeah, I uh, just want to kind of vent a little bit. I'm not angry or nothing like that, but I just want to kind of share some stuff about my day and uh, kind of give some advice to the new newcomers, uh, new drivers and all that stuff. So unfortunately, being a truck driver, you're going to be dealing with a lot of difficult people, uh, mostly in four-wheelers. And when I be mean by four-wheelers, I mean by people, you know, they're driving cars and pickups. Unfortunately, us truck drivers, we're just big slowing in the way. Uh, it doesn't matter what we're doing. People are just so impatient. It's ridiculous. They'll just lose their mind being stuck behind a big truck. I'm going to tell you why. Um, so, earlier today when I'm in Kentucky, in the very beginning of this trip, I'm going to be driving like a couple hours or so. Well, I'm on 24. I think it's around Paducah. It's around the Paducah area. And uh, there's this pickup truck carrying this, I don't know, looks like a Durango on the back of a car hauler. He don't know what speed he wants to go, so he's speeding up and down, up and down, all that stuff. So, naturally, I go to pass him. Well, as I'm almost all the way passing him, he decides to find a gas pedal and then speed up. So, we're sitting there going, you know, kind of going back and forth like, I don't know, probably about five minutes. Thankfully, we were coming up onto an on-ramp, and with people not knowing how to get on the interstate properly, they crept onto the interstate, and the guy, of course, carrying the car, had to slow down so i'm able to finally get around him and get in front of him and then of course by this point there's like 10 15 20 cars behind me then backed up well they're starting to go by there's this chevy uh suburban that gets right up next that gets next to me honk his horn and he or she whoever is driving it decided to flip me off you know because they were stuck behind me for like five minutes and that right there, you would think three years of driving, I'd be used to that kind of behavior by now, but that just really irks me. I cannot stand, I know I'm not the only one, but I cannot stand disrespectful people. It is 
it is unreal. Like there's no reason to be so impatient. You just gotta just disrespect truck drivers, just, or anyone, not just truck drivers, but anyone. There's just no need for it. But unfortunately, that's the world we live in. <laughs> that's the world we live in. People are just impatient. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't matter what we do. Um, it doesn't matter the reason. And, and clearly, they could have seen, should have seen that truck was BSing in the right lane. That wouldn't let me pass. I wasn't just out in the left lane trying to slow people down on purpose or nothing, but hey, some folks are so impatient, they'll treat you like you were doing that. So, I mean, it is, like I said, it is what it is. I'm, of course, over it, you know, but I just wanted to share that tidbit with you, with you guys, because again, for you newcomers coming on, that's unfortunately what you're going to be dealing with a lot. <laughs> and I mean, I'm gonna be real. I mean, I'm in the government truck. I can't do it but six to eight mile an hour. So I can't just go blowing the doors off folks trying to hurry them and get past them. But hey, it is what it is on that. But, you know, we all got to share the road. But fortunately, again, not everybody sees it that way. Um, and, I mean, it's just part of the job. And that's why I try to tell people that ask me, hey, you got to get in this. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in an earlier video. But you got to love this job. Like, <laughs> that's the thing with me. I love what I do. There's nothing else I want to do. It doesn't make the people I got to deal with less aggravating, but I love what I do. Um, Y'all know me. I'm a Christian man. I'm, I'm a praying man. So that's something that God's working with on me. I'm, I've gotten a lot better compared to my younger days. But, you know, it's still something I'm working on because, again, I just don't understand how folks can just be so disrespectful. Well, I mean, that's just across the board. I mean, hell, you can't go to a grocery store without somebody cutting you off, damn near running you over with their shopping cart, and not even saying, excuse me. I mean, that's just that's just how it is, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, um, that's just what's part of the job. If you love your job, do your best to try to just let it go. Um, and not only are you gonna deal with that out of four-wheelers, but you're also gonna get other truck drivers. You got a lot of super truckers out here, especially if you got a CB radio. Hey, you have all, I've had all kinds of folks cussing me out, just losing their mind. It's acting plain stupid. Um, I mean, you know, because you know, you got those ones out there that has to drive 90 miles an hour wherever they go, and it doesn't matter. Same deal if you're trying to pass someone that's slower than you. Now they want you to get out of their way, they don't care what you're trying to do, but you, you know, you just got to keep doing your thing. Uh, don't lose your cool because first and foremost you got to keep a calm level head to drive these trucks and not do some stupid or Or not pay, you know, not paying attention because you're so angry you miss something you end up causing an accident or what have you uh, And then also You got some shippers you go in these shippers You will have some at the front desk or, with, or a worker or whoever with bad attitude They want to you get some jokers. I want to talk to you any kind of way again you know, and I know it's harder, I mean, yeah, easier said than done, because I've gotten into a couple folks, a couple shippers in the past, um, but that's rare, that's extremely rare. Um, but I don't know, I don't know what it is, y'all, it seems like these people in these cars and stuff, they just, I don't know if they feel comfortable, because they're, I don't know, I guess they feel like they, they knack the fool towards you, then speed off, not to really deal with you in person. Kind of like people on social media, you know, but, uh, but yeah, that's really what I want to get, y'all. Y'all just try to keep, keep a calm, level head. If you love this job, it, it will be easier to do that as time goes on because you can't fix stupid. We all heard that saying. It's very much true. You can't fix stupid. I'm not going to let anyone ruin what I love to do. So, um, you know, it's the way it is, y'all. Y'all got to let it go and keep doing your thing. Mind yourself, hey, you ain't gotta go home with that idiot or nothing like that. So, um, and that's what keeps me doing what I do. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to share. Uh, try not to be too long winded with it. But I'm gonna hop in the truck and I'm gonna have me some dinner and we're gonna deliver this load in the morning. So I'll catch y'all here in a bit. All right, y'all. So we're at the delivery spot in St. Louis. Uh, most of the way unloaded, but there's a piece of pipe on here big old big nice size piece and um it's almost like a half t shaped pipe if you will i don't know i don't know the proper name to call it but 
And anyways, they don't have the equipment at this location to get it off. And from sounds of it, they're talking about having me take it to some yard, but it's like in downtown St. Louis. Yeah, I uh, really don't want to deal with downtown anything, especially right now. It's, it's not even eight o'clock yet, so you know that morning traffic's gonna be ridiculous. So, I don't know, um, the gentleman's on the phone right now, uh, I guess speaking with the boss or whoever, trying to figure out what to do with it, hopefully, but again, hopefully I won't, hopefully they'll figure out something since I'm down here. I'd almost rather wait here and just wait on them to get the proper equipment they need to get down here, because like I said, right now in downtown St. Louis, yeah, I don't really want to deal with that. So, I don't know, Will. We'll wait and see what the plan is. And I don't know about look at the guy's face. It doesn't, it doesn't look too great. So I'm going to hop out and uh, chat with him. See what the game plan is. So stay tuned. All right. At the second location, getting unloaded. Now we're back where we were. And I made that last clip. So I don't know if he's going to try to take this big piece. See, this is the problem we would we had at the other place. This pipe right here, this pipe right here, that's all one big piece. And you got this guy right here, this elbow piece, and you got the rest of it. So it's gonna be real interesting seeing how uh, how he gets this off. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is with St. Louis, but everywhere I've been today has just been just tight. It don't look so bad from a camera view, but trying to come in, make that left-hand turn from right there. You got the dumpster right there. Thankfully, I, most of our trailers, you can slide the axles on. So that came in handy big time. I just slid them forward all the way and just took it real slow. But, uh, but yeah, everywhere I've been to, it's just been ridiculously tight. Then it don't help that they're doing construction over there. They had half the daggum street blocked off with their stuff, so yeah, it's been a fun morning. Oh, looks like he's calling his boss. I think he realized that's all one big piece. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that guy, was, that little forklift was gonna get it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I hear him on the phone. Yeah, he's having trouble with that too. Uh, hopefully they don't send me to another location. I mean, I get paid either way, but I like to quit having to drive these tight, narrow streets that are not built for trucks. St. Louis is definitely not truck friendly, huh? let me tell you. But anyways, let's see what they do. Yeah, buddy. Pull forward. All right. All right. Finally got unloaded. Paperwork signed. Now, got to get those boards off. Time to get out the trusty BFH. Y'all feel free to Google what that means. I guess I'll fight these off and, uh, Put them with their load, and we'll get on down the road. Oh man, God is good. God is good, y'all. Take a peek at my yard real quick. Just got done mowing her. She's starting to get a little bit on the tall side again. So I want to take care of that just in case I wanted to try to get out on the long run through the weekend. Haven't decided yet. So got a lot taken care of. Got her all nice and washed up. Looking all good. She's holding up pretty good for a 15 year old truck. She's looking real nice. So I gotta clean the interior out though. It's, it's looking pretty bad. But yeah, man. Don't mind my junky garage. This is about the best I could do with the amount of junk that I've accumulated. But man, I'm telling you, that zero turn, that's the real MVP right there. I need to do some servicing on it. Need change, probably need to change the oil. Definitely need to change the fuel filter out. Hasn't been giving me no problems, but I don't want to let it get to the point of giving me problems. So I need to 
handle that, but. Anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna hop off here. Go grab me some more lottery tickets. That's kind of my deal. <laughs> I play those every now and again, so. Can't win nothing if you don't try to, you know, win if you don't play. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all stay blessed. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.